Pokemon my fellow teenies, my name is Protein and today I am bringing up episode of Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we went ahead and actually explored Veiltone City, and uh, well, we bought a bunch of things to get Bunnier to hopefully evolve, hopefully, man. And then we sadly ended off on a very awkward ending because, well, I thought we were gonna battle Team Galactic, but no, we we're actually battling Gym. We we're gonna battle Gym Leader in the last episode, but because the episode was already at like a 20 minute mark, I was like, nah, man, we're not, we're not gonna go battle Gym because that would just mean that would just mean it would be at like the 40 minute mark, and that's just not something I like doing on this channel. I don't like having long videos like that because I know you guys, I know you guys very well. You don't like watching long videos like that, so uh, why bother having a long video, you know? Anyway, in today's episode, we will be taking on that gym leader, and that gym leader is, uh, well, I don't think we we don't know her name yet, but we'll be taking on this episode, and I'm very, 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 very worried for this gym. I had to put an, I had to put an emphasis on that worry right there, because, uh, well, uh, I've had problems with the gym leader of Gardenia, the grass type gym leader. I've had problems with Fantina, and I just have a feeling we're gonna have problems with this gym leader here because, well, this is the team we got. We got Simba, Trap, Newt Newt, and Gligar, and, well, the only Pokemon that has a flying type move is uh, not Gligar, not Rotom, but Newt Newt. And, yeah, I'm gonna try and use Simba a little bit because I know Simba evolves at one level from now. Or actually, let's see how many experience does Simba have. So like, it involves in 2,000 experience. Yeah, we're not gonna be using trap though, because if we if trap dies here, that's that's a protein gone, that's a massage gone, that's a uh, sweet puffin gone, you know. And that's just not something I want. That's not something I want to happen. So, uh, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are having a blessed, wonderful day, because uh, I sure am. It's nice and sunny in Canada today. After I've recorded one more video after this one. I'm actually gonna go out for a nice little walk and play some Pokemon Go because that's, that's what I've been doing a lot lately is play some Pokemon Go, put on some tunes and just play some Pokemon Go, you know? That's what life should be. It should, life should not be you worrying about am I gonna have work today? Am I gonna do that and that? Go chase your dreams, man, because honestly, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna be chasing this dream of be making YouTube a job and getting an editing job and so forth. Um, because I love doing this. I, I don't want a job where I'm hating anything, you know? Anyway, let's just get into this gym and to see how what this one's about. Hey there, Clyde. Hey there, how's it going, chap to be? The gym leader is using her fighting type Pokemon. She's bitty, she'd be a terror against normal type Pokemon. But, ah, uh, and it's a big butt just between you and me. Maylene the Joe, her name is Maylene. The gym leader said flying and psychic type Pokemon could be a real trouble for her. If you want to battle her, smack the pushing bags along the rails. You have to hit those bags hard. Smack that booty, am I right? He he he. No. Um, yeah, so this gym, I don't know. I've always kind of had trouble with this puzzle in this gym, so hopefully I won't have some ch problems with this gym in today's episode, because I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of stupid when it comes to puzzles, but so far it looks like we're not we're not going to be stupid today, are we? You there, sir. We're gonna get, you want to get beat by my like, Luxia? Where are the karate quads? I will strike a blow for love with my fist. Hiya! Love! I'm very worried for this gym, man. That guy's mud chokes are level 27, 26, and there we go. Simba is finally evolving into the almighty Luxury. And if you've been following my Pixelmon series, you would know that uh, I love Luxury. We got a shiny Luxury on the server. Um, yeah, also, Pixelmon is coming back. It should be back, hopefully, by the time this video is uploaded. Because, well, the server is back and running, up and running now. Um, will you learn any moves, Simba? No, you, no. Wow. Alrighty, so moving along here, um, that's the wrong area. Like I said, I am very nervous with this puzzle right here, because I've always had problems with this one, but... Oh, and I hate how, I hate how slow it is when you accidentally bump into it. But I think we gotta move these tires over here. Uh, and then... Can we go over here? No, we can't go over there just yet. Okay. But I think now, with that, I think, do we go over here now? No, 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 that's, that's the wrong area. Alrighty, we'll go over here for now, I guess. You there, let's see which kind of Pokemon you got. We're the Karate Quads. I will strike a blow for hope with my first Hiya Hope. That is, that's so corny, man. Why do all these guys say Hiya Love or Hiya Hope or Hiya Let's Not Lose or whatever, you know? So 
So I'm thinking my best bet against this gym actually would probably have to be uh, uh, Rotom to be honest. Just because, well, Rotom is a ghost type Pokemon and not really any of these moves are going to affect my Rotom here. And his special attacks really well, is really good and I think... I think physical type Pokemon are actually kind of weak against special attacks. So hopefully that will work out with the Karate Quads. I will strike a blow for courage and with my fist, hi courage. Black Belt Dare, and I couldn't force my way to victory. No, no, you could not have, sir. So unfortunately, you lost. Ah, uh, what? Are we supposed to reset this thing now? Because there's no really, there's nothing really, no other way we can go. That is very odd. No, there should be a way we can go. Ah, there we go. See what I mean? I don't really understand this puzzle that well. I think if we go over here. We we'll do this. It'll be a shortcut back. And then once that is gone we can push this over here and then push it uh, one more over to get that gone and now we can go on over here uh, see what i mean it's just so slow man why does it do that now we can go behind you there buddy and now we got i think we gotta push i think we gotta push this over here actually and then once that is over there yeah, I think I think I got what we're supposed to do now. We're gonna do this. Push that over there. I wish I could really speed this up for you guys, but that wouldn't be fair because you guys aren't able to speed this up if you're playing along. Um, I'm not sure if any of you guys are actually playing along or not. <laughs> but if you are, well, there you go. Uh, so now that's not that's, that's smashed. Now we gotta knock over the all the tires over here. All right, bam! Oh, that doesn't do anything? Are you serious, man? Why? Why? Now we're gonna go battle this guy over here, I'm guessing. You're there, sir. Oh, no. There we go. Let's see. What What are you gonna hiya me with, huh? With the karate quads that I was about for hiya tears! Oh, he's sad. I'm sorry, buddy. You're gonna get even sadder after I whip your ass here. I'm so hungry, kid. I don't have a strength left. <laughs> uh, okay. I kind of get why he's saying he's hungry, because apparently, fighters like this, they will starve themselves sometimes just to and be able to classify in the weight uh, categories they're in. So, I, I guess that's why you're hungry, man. I'm sorry that you gotta go through all that, but hey... You're the one that wanted to do this job, not me. I don't- I would never want to become a fighter, just because I'm not really the person that likes to fight, but if you're pushing my uh, buttons, I will definitely uh, fight with you. Just because that's the person I am. I'm not the person that'll that'll just stand there and take shit from you. But in all in reality, I'm I'm quite the easygoing guy. I don't I don't really like fighting. Um, so I would never like doing becoming an MMA wrestler or a karate person for that matter. Anyway, I'm enough blabbing about me fighting and stuff. Let us go over here and. Take care of that tire swing over there. I'm gonna like call it a tire swing. Uh, this one. I think we gotta go this way with this one? I think so. Yeah, there we go. So now, once that is gone, I think we can actually go ahead and battle Maylene after we move this. Aw, uh, see, this is. I don't know why it's so slow. Why did you do that, Nintendo? And then I think we gotta move this one more. Is that true or? Yes, it is. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Now we can actually go take on Maylene. And I'm actually quite very, very nervous of this gym just because I, I don't know, man. <sighs> Cause we've, I know I've said this earlier, but we've had some quite, we've had a lot of trouble with the gym leaders in this game. So let's see here. I'm probably, I'm gonna heal up Rotom for sure. It's gonna be Rotom and Gligar here, because I know Rotom can take care of her first two Pokemon. It's just the last one I'm kind of worried about, because the last one you do require a fire type for that one, because it is part steel type. However, Gligar here, let's see Gligar's speed. Oh, okay, 62. I don't know if that's gonna be faster than the Pokemon that's gonna come up, but. And ah, uh, your attack though, man. Special attack's 29. Yeesh. 
Earth is earthquake special attack? No, it's physical. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. So that's that's we should be all right though. I think we'll be all right. Uh, let's go and head and heal our Pokemon up first though. Before you battle the herd, go ahead and save or I, I don't know. Yeah, you just save, okay? Just because in case you lose, like I'm probably gonna lose against this gym leader, or something bad happens, or you gotta go to a friend or something. I don't know. Whatever will happen, just be sure to save. Cause you know life can be very unpredictable, and with life being unpredictable, it, you. You want to be predictable, so save, you know? Hello, I am pleased to meet you. I'm Melee, and I'm the gym leader. I don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader, but I will do the best I can as a gym leader. I take battling very seriously, so whenever you're ready. Well, okay, well, I guess I'm ready now. And there we go, we're battling Maylene! I don't know why I said it like that, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. For me sounding constipated for a few seconds there. Uh, first up is Meta and that is why I want to go up for Rotom here, because Ro Rotom. We can use uh, Ominous Wind with uh, against Metatite, and that should be super effective. So let's go use an Ominous Wind here. And we are faster than Metatite, so yeah. I don't think Metatite sets up or anything like that. So it's... I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure what Metatite's moves are. But I don't think it sets up like how it could have set up with... Uh, what was it? What was it? Haunter, I think it was. Anyway, next up is Machoke. We're going to go ahead and use a Shockwave against Machoke. Just because, well... Shockwave does a lot of a lot. Of, there's a lot of damage against these uh, mud chokes, and I could have gone for a leaf storm. Probably got a probably got a got a KO there, but uh, I don't really want to risk it for the biscuit there because uh, leaf storm is very well. It doesn't really hit always, you know. Oh, rock team is that gonna be super effective against me? Nah, we eat up we eat it up like it's breakfast, man. Speaking of which, I want to get some breakfast later on. Um, let's go for leaf storm though. Let's see. Bo ah. Oh. Okay, no, 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 okay, sweet, 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 I thought we were gonna miss her for a second, but there we go, that should kill Machoke, yes, there we go, I knew it, I knew it, but now, your special attacks kind of fell, so we're actually gonna go switch up into our Gligar here, and Gligar's gonna use uh, Earthquake against Lucario, because Lucario, if you did not know, is part Steel type, and uh, you wanna use Earthquake against this thing, <laughs> let's see, Will we be able to defeat Gly- uh, Gly- or, yes, Glyscore, no, we'll be able to defeat Lucario. Oh, but this is in the end, my friend. No, is it not? I bet to differ. We could go for Brick Break as well, but I'm gonna go for Earthquake, because I know Earthquake's a lot- Oh! You're faster than me, eh? So I'm guessing- I'm wondering what speed you got. But that does not- that doesn't really matter. We're gonna- we're gonna eat up your moves like it's breakfast, man. How much would that do? Oh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. You got that citrus berry, is it? Not what? Sticky barb? I'm in a bit of a bit of bind, aren't I? Alrighty, um... I'm gonna go for Brick Break here. Wow! What? Why would you not heal up your Pokemon there, Maylene? I'm not complaining or anything, but that would have been a smarter move to for you to heal up your Pokemon there. Alright, the so super effect. There we go. So you're dead, you're dead, Lucario. Okay, man. Level 30, not bad, Gligar. I'm very impressed with you, Gligar. I'm very happy with you, actually. And that was not hard at all. I shall admit defeat. You're much too strong. That's I like your vocabulary there. Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. I've learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. And just like that, we obtain our fourth gym badge. It is, I think it is. I think it's our fourth gym badge. Um, uh, um I should explain what about the official Pokemon League badge. With it, you can use the hidden move fly outside of battle and oh and since you know how now and since you know how four gym, yeah, it's four gym badges. But we're taking the trades will obey you up to level 50 and oh and please take this as well. TM6, I think that's focus blast. No, because we just beat us uh, no it's drain punch. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if any of my Pokemon can actually learn drain punch. I think Baneri may actually be able to learn that, so let's check that out actually. I think we're actually gonna take on the blue haired men now, because well we can. We got our gym badge from that guy. From that girl, not that guy. What are you doing, Jake? It's a girl, man. How do I get out of here now, though? That's the question. Oh, I think I gotta go back here, though. Ah, oh, Jake. Please, can you help me? Some team let it go and took my Pokedex away from me. I need your help to get it back. I'll be waiting in front of the warehouse. Please, come. Oh, the warehouses. Okay, well, uh, I guess we gotta go to the warehouse now, because, well... Don doesn't know, doesn't know how to look after a Pokedex because I, I, I don't know. I can't really think of a good comeback there. Um, even though, like, Team, team Galactic, man. D just. Well, Team. I, I don't know, man. I just don't think Team Galactic are that vicious to be taking Pokedexes from you. And why would Team Galactic be needing with a Pokedex? 
We're trying to get the Prolex back from us. Not when we team actually can make so much better use of it. But okay, guarding the warehouse does get boring. We'll take you on two on two. Alrighty, are we not gonna tell Jake? Please. Yeah, I already said I would help you. That's why I'm here. Why are we talking about this again, man? Yes, there we go. I don't know why this is gonna be so difficult. Like, I just want to take care of Team Galactic for you and then go on my journey. But no, we gotta talk to you again about you reminding us that your progress gets stolen. Why? Why does that happen? Done and by two gates, this, this isn't right. I should have kept my head down and just watch your warehouse. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny, but yeah, you guys lost. Oh, that stings. I'll put one of our chumps. We should get new ones from headquarters. Um, who cares about some Pokedex anyway? Team Lex is going to get own, going to own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. There, take it. Take your Pokedex. Alrighty. I don't know how you guys are going to be able to get all the Pokemon in the universe because there's like. I don't even know how many there are now. There's like 900 of them or something like that. <laughs> so we'll say you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. Uh-huh. While well, you do that. What's going on? Why is Steven Lexi out in the streets like they own the place? Maybe they do own the place, Don. How do you know that? Jake, thank you very sincerely. I would have been lost without my Pokedex. It's indispensable for helping Professor Rowan in the studies. So Jake, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to the Pokemon Mansion on Route 212. Ooh, the Pokemon Mansion, eh? I hear they are. They show rare Pokemon and visitors there. Ah, it's Loker. I just saw you gambling. Are you coming to beg some money for us? Please don't, sir. I don't got any money to give away here. Have no fear. I've come running. I heard a Chilla feuding with Team Galactic. It turns out, of course, to be you. Oh, it's that funny man from Jubilive. <laughs> you insult me to my face. How very uncouth of you. I'm terribly sorry. Team Galactic took my Pokemon, so I was very irritated. <laughs> I just pointed it out. <laughs> wow. Talking about Savage right there. I should be going now. Be wary of Team Galactic. Yeah, I will be wary of Team Galactic. <laughs> Get over that, man. Are you serious, Don? You're just, you're just going to say that to that man's face that... <laughs> it is of no matter of more interest in the economical behavior of Team Galactic. They tend to steal the belongings of the child. The scale of their criminality seems rather minuscule. The trivial of their action makes them more sinister. Perhaps their warehouse needs investigation. Come with me and we'll take a look. Okay, well, they already went in there. I don't know how we're going to do anything in here, um, Looker. Hmm, a key is necessary for us to go on. For the time being, we cannot give chase to the who's run away. However, I'll be getting that Pokeball over there, though, man. Oh, this hit. Oh, what? I thought the hidden machine was inside of the building, like inside where those doors are, but I guess not. Take this, you should keep caving. This, I will not have this leave, I will not leave this item here to be used by Team Galactic. Alrighty, look, so we did not learn any very much from this exercise, no matter. What concerns me is what I have over here in the game corner. The Team Galactic has transported something to the Pastoria City. What they are up to, I did not know, but I've had bad feelings about it. Uh-huh. You sure you did, you were just gambling away in it in... Um, in the game corner, and the reason why he's seeing there's Team Galactic in the game corner, and because but I didn't really show that off because I, I don't, I'm not good at those slot machines, is in the game corner that actually shows Team Galactic's uh, logo in the slot machines. And I think if you get like three of them, you get like I, I think it's like 500 coins or something like that. Don't quote me on that because, like I said, I've never actually be, I've never actually been able to get that. Yeah, so I don't really know what kind of information you got there, but I'm sure the news from Pastoria is, is accurate because, well, you know, there's. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. I'm guessing you're right about that. I don't know. We'll see though. Anyway, that is it for today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know we didn't really get much done in today's episode. We took on Maylene and so forth. But uh, the next episode is an episode for itself because we'll be going through the next route. And in that route, we'll actually be going to catch the last two unknowns I need. And we'll be going on to Pastoria City. And as always, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out. See you guys and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day.